friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're going to be going over my half marathon non-negotiables, what you will need and what I found extremely essential to my half marathon training. If you guys are new here, my name is Nikki. I do fitness, motivation, and lifestyle content on all the platforms that you guys see here. Over the past couple of months, I've been taking my fitness activities from lifting inside of the gym to doing long distance running. I eventually kind of fell in love with running and then I decided to sign up for a half marathon, which is 13.1 miles. And I actually am running the half marathon on Saturday. Today is Tuesday. So when you guys see this video, I will already have finished the half marathon. It's going to be at the end of this video. So stay tuned because I have a feeling that that vlog is going to be really fun. We're going to have to wake up at 4 a.m. We're running it in Hawaii. So for any of you guys that are interested in training for half marathon or just getting up to 10 miles and maybe you've never even run before or you feel like your endurance is horrible, that's where I started. So I created this program for you guys. It's a seven week cardio program. It's cardio mixed with weights. It's exactly what I did to lead up to this exact point. I started running a mile where I couldn't even finish a mile. I had to walk throughout it, which is completely fine, but I just did not think that in such a short amount of time, I would be able to achieve 10 miles without stopping at like a 9.45 pace. That is my all-time record, and it just blows my mind that I was able to even accomplish that because I never thought I would even be able to do like three miles, and now thinking about three miles, it just seems like a walk in the park to me. This program is on my fitness app. It will be linked below, but that's kind of the purpose of this video. I'm going to go over all the essentials that helped me along the way. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. All right, first up, we're gonna start with the items that you consume. Personally, when I run, I like to run very early in the morning. I try to start my runs between 6 and 8 a.m. at the latest. And when I wake up that early, I usually don't have an appetite and I try to run on an empty stomach. I just don't like running heavy or feeling like I have food inside of my stomach. I also am an intermittent faster, so I don't usually eat until 10 or 11 a.m. So in the morning, my go-to for pre-workout is powders. This flavor just so happens to be rainbow snow cone, but honestly, I love all the flavors that they have. I was so skeptical at first to drink pre-workout before doing cardio. I feel like a lot of people were also skeptical because they were like, you're gonna have a heart attack, you, your body won't be able to understand like caffeine with running, like it'll be too much for your heart. But honestly, I take this, I take one scoop, 200 milligrams before doing my runs, whether it's a mile or 10 miles. This has helped me with longevity. It's so clean. It doesn't have any sucralose or any like artificial flavors or coloring or anything like that. It doesn't hurt my stomach. I have 200 milligrams on an empty stomach and I totally feel fine. At most, I might eat a banana before my runs if I'm doing like a 10 miler, but this is amazing. If you are concerned about consuming caffeine on an empty stomach before doing cardio, I would just do like a third of a scoop. Just have like 50 milligrams, see how you feel. And if you feel like you could do more, kind of do it in increments like that and build up your tolerance. Next step, during my runs. So far, I feel like I can run 10 miles on an empty stomach and I'm fine. I do feel a little bit lethargic, I think is the word at the end. My body is like craving like sugar and carbs and everything because it's just been running on empty. But verb bars, I love these verb bars. They are also caffeinated, so keep that in mind. There's 85 milligrams in one bar, so it's as much caffeine as a shot of espresso. This flavor is the chocolate chip banana bread. There are a bunch of different flavors. This one just so happened to be in my fanny pack. I have eaten one of these while on my run. It felt really good. It was like a little boost of energy, only like 100 calories. But I will say, if you don't have water on you while you're running, this might be a little bit tough to get down because it is is a little bit like OT, but it's super thin. And I think it's a good snack if you wanted something while you're running. And then after my runs, not necessarily like the first thing I put in my body when I finish, but during recovery. So at like 4 p.m. every single day, I try to have some of these element drinks. I bought these on, I think element.com. They come in like these little packets. So you mix it with water. And this one is the watermelon salt, probably my favorite flavor. I've only tried two of them though. But watermelon salt, they have electrolytes, they have sodium in them. They have magnesium, potassium, and that's really the main part of them. I really do feel like they're helping keep me hydrated. I'm also just drinking water throughout the day on my own. That's like not mixed with something. But these element drinks, I really do love. So I will also be packing probably like 14 of these for the week in Hawaii just to have. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the outfit. We're not gonna talk about like backpack or fanny pack yet, but just like what you're physically wearing. I went through a lot of different outfits and I finally narrowed it down to this. And this is what works for me and I'm a huge advocate. I have about a size C to D 
boobs so I need really good support when I run because I'm just bouncing for so long and if you also have a bigger bust chest size you might also deal with this but I'm just being very transparent when I run my boobs bounce so much I get rashes underneath my boobs and honestly it is very painful but it is what it is I just my chest is natural so for me this is the best sports bra that has reduced that rubbing and like rash I guess you could say the Nike sports bra I just went to the Nike store and found it there's no tags on it but it's fairly new so this bra it's like kind of mesh on the back I'll try to link everything below and but this sports bra I get it true to size this one is a size medium it's very tight but for me I need them so tight I'd rather have my boobs feel like they're you know taped up to me but since I'm running for 10 miles and this weekend will be 13 miles it's a long time to be running and I eventually will kind of feel like I'm being suffocated so make sure that you order true to size don't get something too tight if you're running a lot of miles now moving on to the bottoms I own my own activewear brand which is called Nikki Font Activewear and I'm not being biased I've tried a lot of different activewear brands to run in as well Nikki Font Activewear seamless original biker shorts these ones are great if you like running in shorts they are a little bit longer they're an eight inch in seam that way they don't ride up i tried running in the dawn biker shorts from my own brand and they were just rolling up in the middle i have thicker thighs i played soccer my entire life through college so i have very muscular legs and for me if i'm running i just don't want to have to worry about pulling my shorts down or having my thighs chafe and rub so wearing something longer i'm a huge advocate for them seamless original biker shorts jet black there's also like nine different colors then moving on to the leggings leggings are what i like to run in i feel like you don't have to worry about them riding up what Whatsoever. These ones do not slide down. They're the Nikki Fawn Active Wear Dawn leggings. I personally like to wear the black, but there are like six or seven different colors. They go all the way down. I'm five. I'm five seven. They go all the way down. If you have an issue with being a little bit taller, but also if, even if you're shorter, I feel like they're a really good length. The thickness of the band is also perfect. They do not move. Like I said, I played soccer in the past. So I used to run in soccer shorts, but I just dealt with chafing to the point where like I would not blister, but like scab almost between my legs. I'm over that. So now I run in leggings huge advocate those are what the exact pair that i'm going to be running the half marathon in on saturday and then i searched high and wide and far and near and whatever the saying is and i ended up going to lululemon to get this tank top this is a tank top that i will be wearing over the nike sports bra and tucked in to my leggings i don't know what it is but just that seamless effect i feel so swift and elegant and this tank top was perfect the moment i tried it on like there's another video lululemon try on haul where i was trying to find the running outfit I went with the Align tank and it's just long enough to where it fits inside of my high-waisted leggings. It does not move. It's so comfortable. It's so stretchy. I've washed it three times and the material is still perfect. The back is Razorback, so it's the same exact shape as the Nike sports bra that goes underneath it. It's just a really cute fit. Like, look good, feel good, play good. I have run in this twice already. I've done my 10 miles in it both times. This is the exact tank top that I will be wearing on half marathon day. So the Lululemon tank top, the Nikki Font Active Wear Dawn leggings, and the Nike sports bra. That will be like the bulk of my fit. Moving on to the socks. I have Nikki Font Activewear socks as well. These will be restocking very soon, probably early July. The shipment's on its way, so whenever it gets here. Mid-calf socks, Nikki Font Activewear. The biggest tip I can give you guys is to double sock. I did this in soccer. It is a huge help. These are what the socks look like. I wear like these two socks on my left foot, and then I wear another two socks on my right foot. And this helps with giving you like extra padding so you don't get blisters. I've been training for almost three months now, and I I have knock on wood i don't have a single blister and that is unheard of i was also running in the worst possible shoes they were not running shoes in the beginning i will get more into like the shoes that i did end up buying my very first time wearing my new running shoes i ran 10 miles in them on the spot without breaking them in and i double socked and to this day i still don't have any blisters nikki fun active wear socks to go with the outfit i wear them over my leggings so everything is somewhat like tucked into each other giving that sleek feel okay moving on to the running outfit accessories we'll start with the shoes these are are the Hoka Clifton 8s. I decided to go with the Hokas. I tried on a bunch of different styles. I tried on the Nike Superflies or Vaporflies. I tried on the New Balances. I tried on just like your generic Nikes. I've also tried on Adidas. And for some reason, these just felt like they supported my feet the best. I have a very wide foot. So see how they're a little bit wider? These actually happen to be the men's narrow ones. But what I love about Hoka is that you could get men's or women's and there's a thin and a wide version. So if you have a wider foot, I would say these are the 
way to go. I was wearing APLs before because those were like the most supportive shoes I had at the time. They're not running shoes. They had no support on like the inside here. So my foot was like rotating in when I was running and I still am dealing with some inner ankle problems on both sides because I just did not get the right shoes for so long. But these guys, Hocus Clifton 8s, I will link them below. Huge advocate. They are very inexpensive for running shoes for being this high quality in my opinion. They're about, I think $140 worth the investment. They have so many different colors. I think the white just goes with everything. And then I will be wearing this Nike vest on running day. It's kind of hard to show you because it's very like meshy, but it's a Nike running vest. It comes with a fanny pack on the back that is detachable. So like in the future, if you just wanted to go on a hike, you could just take off the fanny pack. Up close, very nice material. It has two buckles on it, like a thick one and then like a tiny one. And there's a bunch of pockets. So you put your phone in here. You could put a verb bar in here. You could put a baby water bottle. I'll probably end up getting like some goo packs or honey stingers or something. Haven't tried them yet, so I cannot review them for you, but I might just end up sending it on the day of. This vest was a little bit more expensive, but to be honest, I think it's worth it. I mean, it was like 130 bucks. You could probably find a dupe or a cheaper one, but I will link this one below. I got a size medium large. I think it's a little big for me, but I would wrap, like when I run, it does bounce a little bit. I would take that over it being too snug and risk chafing on my arms. But if you did not want to use like a big vest, you think this is too bulky. I do have this Lululemon fanny pack and I wear this around my waist on the backside. I don't even feel it. I put my phone in here. I put my AirPods in here. I put the verb bar and the chopstick and everything that I would need in here. And when I run, I feel like it's just perfect. It doesn't move. And if you needed to get your phone out for some reason, you can easily just kind of like slide it around your body and open it while you're running. Love this one. There's like a good amount of space inside of it. This is what I use when I don't, when I do like probably one to five miles and then I'll use the vest if I do six miles plus. I will say I used to run like the first like two months with my phone in my hand like this and I didn't realize how liberating it feels to not have to hold anything when you run. It's just less to worry about. I feel like you're swifter and you don't have to compromise your form by like essentially holding a weight. So I would definitely recommend finding something or somewhere on your body to put your phone. Now let's get into recovery. So after your runs, I am not the best at this. I'm working on it, but stretching and like rolling out and really focusing on your static movements after your runs is so important. I feel like for longevity and in the long term, I definitely should have warmed up and cooled down a lot better when on this journey. Getting a foam roller like this that really gets into like the nitty gritty of your muscles or even just getting like a solid one. This helps so much just really loosen up your body. It's really good for recovery. And then another huge thing is a lacrosse ball. If you don't want to buy this just like go to a field and try to find one these are like really really hard like they're it's a hard rubber ball put this on the ground step on it with like the arch of your foot and just roll around and use your body weight to really push in and rolling out the arches of your feet unreal it is so tense down there that i think just do it try it if you have a lacrosse ball go try it right now this is something i wish i started doing earlier because i'm dealing with a lot of feet problem right now because they've just been so tense and i haven't taken care of them as best as i should so learn from my mistakes the last thing i would say is getting some airpods or headphones i don't have any issue with my airpods falling out of my ears but i will say music is such a big game changer when you're running listening to a podcast or listening to a good playlist that's on shuffle something that i also have realized helps me a lot on my really long runs like the 10 miles is having a playlist that's just completely on shuffle so you don't know what's coming up next i have a playlist on spotify that's just like my liked songs some are like your early 2000s some are from the 80s some are worship music some are i don't even know country music but the thing is is that since i liked all those songs i know that i'm going to like them but i just have no idea what genre i'm going to get so it kind of keeps it like fun that's the goal with the music you want to be able to just run and kind of have it feel like a form of meditation my absolute favorite music to run to is my worship music um it's just like christian christian worship music but it builds when you hit like that five miles and like you have that worship music blaring in your ears and it's just like you and god in that moment that is the moment i truly love for one of the biggest things that has helped me on this running journey is something that tracks your running. This is a Garmin watch. I have fallen in love with it. She is stunning. This is what I use to track my runs. The watch I decided to get was the Garmin Venue 2 Plus. It tracks your distance. It tracks your pace. It tracks your time. That way you're able to look back on your stats and see how well you're performing, but also you don't have to worry about like estimating where you are or having to Google map the route that you're running and then go that way. Like this is so accurate. And also if you get a watch or you get something that tracks like your actual body, you can measure your heart rate, 
it, you can see like how your body's doing. And I'm a huge numbers girly. So having the Garmin watch and having that app, it's just so awesome to be able to see how far I've come along this journey. It's not too big and I think it's still very like aesthetic and cute for my vibe. I'll show you guys a better angle of how I use it. So when getting ready to run, you just click on the screen and then I have these pre-saved settings that are walk, run, and hit. For example, let's say I'm gonna do the 13.1 today. I have that pre-programmed and then I just click start once it loads my GPS and then it will track me when I start running. It knows my location so it'll automatically track my distance based on where I'm running on the map. It also knows my pace based on the time and then once you're finished, you click stop and then it will give you a summary overview of all of your statistics from that run and it'll save it to the app. So if you wanna look back on all of your other runs previously, you can compare them. I will link the Garmin watch and everything that I listed today below. So other than that, that concludes everything that is like my absolute non-negotiables running staples for training for my half marathon. If you guys are interested in joining the program that I did, the seven week sweaty summit program, I will link that below. Next up in this video, we're going to get into like the vlog of the actual half marathon. I'm not there yet. So you guys are literally about to see it right now. So wish me luck and let's see how I did. Good morning, USA. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's race day. Yeah. JP's like, leave me alone. <laughs> It's 4.06 and we are ready to get ready to get after it. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Good morning. Gosh, I'm a mess. Did you do that little feral skip? Picking my pre-workout. We have a new flavor from powders. You guys can't see. And the pink lemonade. I think I'm gonna do pink lemonade. So JP was telling me to drink. I'm gonna make that now. Got these little water bottles. I'm gonna suck out tucked in tank top and then I have my honey for my fanny pack to my thumb oh my god okay so going inside the fanny pack is gonna be my headphones this little tiny honey thing and my phone and I think that's it my banana you help actually I'm gonna have to fix that again but Alright, this is the final look. We're now in a little bit of a hurry. We're so excited. We're in all black. So cute. Per JB or Justin has a car. This vlog. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. <sighs> I'm glad we have a little bit of a drive so I can like <laughs> fix my tag thing again. Let's fix my tag. I'm excited to do this finally. The moment we've been waiting for. It's been three months, two months. Two months. Yeah. Two and a half. But like really realistically, probably like a month and a half of like mental <laughs> practice. <laughs> mental practice. So we're like, look, do it on a whip. <laughs> the soldier taking us today. Thank you, my love. Not a soldier, sorry, sorry. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it's like how nice is this weather though? It's perfect. Oh. What up? Are you ready? Yep. Feeling good. Excited? Feeling great. Oh, guys, I didn't bring my phone thing, so we don't. No music. I, I brought a cord. <laughs> Drinking powders right now. I had my nanner, and we're about 30 minutes out from starting. Behind the scenes. Oh my gosh, I gotta go. I gotta go potty, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Make sure I look good. Do I look good? You look good. My name is Nikki, and this is me before 13.1 miles. Squat. Oh, there's a gallon back there. Look in the in the Where? ride bag. You want I'm okay. You should take it. I didn't not eat. You really should. You had a banana. Eat a lot, though. You had a banana. But I haven't taken Advil in like ever. In just life. have one. Then don't if you don't want to. But I would. Here, just give me one. Yeah, We're gonna need that. Oh, look, they're getting a warm up bread. Just just a little bit, just on the top. I don't need. Yeah, you know where to go. Exactly. Yeah. I hope he gets poop. <laughs> I hope he gets a poop. Wish me luck. I'm off. Ready? 
Go! Ready? Go! I feel so good. The humidity is like amazing. Just finished mile two. I got some water. Kind of choked on it, but it's okay. Pace 905. Feeling good. Starting to get warm, but I'm so happy right now. Just finished mile three. Pace was, I think, 924. I feel so good right now. Mile four. Pace was 935. It's so beautiful here. All the people passing us going like this. So motivating. Very humid though. Mile five, this was 1036. Straight up hill for three miles. I had some honey, hoping that helps. Mile six, pace was 10.05. I'm so happy right now. Almost halfway down. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Just finished mile seven. I'm pretty tired. It's up in God's hands now. Just, I'm listening to worship music and it's truly amazing, but my body is dead. <laughs> Taylor! <laughs> Finish mile eight, finally downhill, bro. I think my pace was like 10.05. Let's try to get back into nine. Mile nine, pace was 9.53. I'm absolutely killing it right now. Mile 10, pace was 10.52. Uphill was in the sun with wind against me. Mile 11. One mile left, well done. Up a hill with wind. Let's go, Nikki! Ow! Let's go. How you feeling? Last 20 meters. <laughs> Half marathon finisher, Nicole. Turning miles into smiles. Check out the photographer. Think you got those smiles. Excuse me? Can I put the medal on my fiance, please? Yeah. Awesome. Is it half marathon? Yep. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Uh, oh my gosh. That was hard. The half for me said 6.5, and I was like, there's no way my watch is wrong. But it ended up being 13.1. It was weird. No, I'm saying. The fastest there ever was. We're so. <laughs> dude, how shitty was it when that sun came out? <laughs> okay, the way, uphill, sun, and yeah, wind. Yeah, dude, the, the way back was yeah, winning. I, I got teary there was at one, one point. I cried a little I did bit. a little. I didn't cry, but like, there was a part that was like, in my <laughs> run where it was talking about like, remembering the first run I did to start yeah. training for this. And I was like, man. <laughs> <laughs> I had like. Sorry, can I curse on that? Yeah, yeah no, you're good. I'll, I'll duck well, it. In that case. We'll bloop it. <laughs> I had like, worship music, worship music blasting for four miles. No one in front of me, no one behind me, no one to guard me. I was absolutely alone and I was like, God is testing me right now. Yeah. This is horrible. I can't see any ocean. There was one guy in front of me the whole time and he had on the back of his shirt, he said, let the dog eat. And I was just like, <laughs> let's go. I would like get I would like get down on myself and I'd look up and I'm like, dog's gotta eat. Dog's gotta eat, dog's baby. Gotta eat. This show. All right, let's make some noise for these athletes right here. I cannot Reese believe I did Jonathan. that. You guys, I just ran a half marathon. And two months ago, I couldn't even finish yet. one mile. You did amazing. You didn't walk a single thing? Finisher. I didn't walk a single time. That's awesome. Shout out Garmin. Every time I looked down, it was so accurate, and I'm so happy that I have this thing. I got to send her my text, too. Yeah, I got his text. It was like, you're halfway. Yeah, exactly halfway. And then you're like, you're one mile left. Come on, babe. Dude, Garmin has, it was the best. Like every single time I was able to look down per mile, it like hyped me up and I'm so happy that I had this thing. It's starting to rain. Perfect, that's what she needs. I know. Blister, <laughs> rain. You guys, I did, I finished in 10.23 pace. That is unreal. I am, I, that was exceeding my expectations. I'm so, I'm so happy with that. The supportive husband, he has Taylor's massive camera and he's gonna go get some pics of her. She's about to finish. I think she's like 0. 0.4 away. Yeah, Taylor! Yeah! Let's go, Taylor! Woo! Ah, how do you feel? You feel like I want to throw oh, up. Are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need to eat. Yeah. yeah.